The Story of Martin Friedman Petrosik The war began in 1939. He lived in a small town in Slovakia called Banovce. They promised, one by one, to all return to Banovce for Passover the following year. <laughs> Young Martin had a love for soccer. He played for an entirely Jewish team. It didn't seem like a problem until this game. This was the game where he realized that the war had finally hit his small town in Slovakia. His team won. And a rock was thrown at his head. Martin joined the camp soccer team led by a German officer. Martin's friends and co-workers were pushed in large groups into train cars made for transporting cattle. However, while working in the camp, Martin became ill with tuberculosis. He barely lived, but surgery saved him. Somebody knew it's a small cry, and I got no excuse. And is that all right? Martin signing his new name in his partisan passport made the change legal and official. He was now a partisan. Now I start to believe in something else. But how do I know if I make it through? How do I know where's the proof in you? And so
Even though I know you're leaving And show me All the reasons you would stay And unfortunately so many more, including two more brothers, an infant nephew, his best friend, and both parents. To warm my soul and ease my Four brothers out of eight siblings survived. This is Martin now. Show me now. His son, Danny. And me, Alex, carrying down the story of my grandfather for future generations. תספיק לשישה מיליון, אף פעם לא נוכל לקלוט את גודל האסון. היה לו חזון סופי, הפתרון, כולם הולכים לישון, וזה היום האחרון. אחד ועוד אחד, עם שלם כמעט נכחד, שאפילו האמיץ ביותר לא שרד, אף אחד לא בן אדם, כל אחד נהיה מספר שעומד בתור ארוך, לא לראות את המחר.